Hey guys, so today is actually Bosco's birthday and today I'm going to tidy the kitchen a bit before we do this, but we are going to attempt to make a little doggy cake for him that he can eat um, probably after dinner or something. We'll make it like a fun little sing him happy birthday or something after dinner. Yeah. Um, so we have to go to the grocery store today to get the ingredients. I will link the recipe that I am using in the description of the video, but uh, we are going to attempt a doggy friendly doggy cake. Uh, so, and it's not gonna be a big one because I don't wanna give him too much stuff because he'll probably, yeah. Yeah, the aftermath uh, in the yard is probably not gonna be the best if it's too big. So yeah, follow along. And let's make Bosco's birthday cake. He turns two today, by Mama, the way. He's I turning two. Is it your birthday? Is it your birthday? I don't know what's up with this. Oh, oh that's bad. Birthday. He's like, what are you doing? Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Hey Bosco. Hey Bosco. Oh. Are we gonna make you a birthday cake? Hey? Bosco. Hey. He's like, get off of me. Are we gonna make you a birthday cake? Are we gonna make you a birthday cake? Yeah, let's go make him a birthday cake. So our oven is preheated to 350, so now we'll start making the cake. All right, so we need a quarter cup of vegetable oil, and then we need a third of a cup of applesauce, and we need a third of a cup of creamy peanut butter. This is the only peanut butter I buy, so. Um, and then we need a carrot, grated. Isn't that how you're supposed to grate it? Okay, let's try again. And then we need a carrot, grated. All right, it clearly worked that time. So, then we also need a banana. Uh, this is the only banana that we don't have that's green. Um, but we need to cut that into small pieces. All right. It works the second time. Small pieces. No. We're just going to need to cut it up. Since this is pretty... Uh, ripe. I'm just kind of going to quarter the little slices, big slices that I made. I'm sure it'll be fine. I've never made a doggy birthday cake. It also calls for eight inch pans and I don't have those either. So, uh, no, it calls for six inch pans. I have eight inch. We'll take a look at the arsenal that we have. This knife is not sharp by the way at all. So, uh, don't mind me and being unsafe. All right, moving on. The other things we need are uh, honey and some flour and we need uh, baking powder. Oh, and most important, we need tea as a pick me up because I'm getting sluggish in the afternoons. And oh, and this is my favorite tea brand. I wanted to show you. And we need an Easter egg to reward ourselves in the end. So. Let's get going. Quarter cup of vegetable oil. A third of a cup of, oh, plus of applesauce. If you use natural peanut butter, take it out early. Mine is still pretty cold. Yeah, good enough. Although that was pretty easy to get out, so maybe don't take it out early. 
All right, and two tablespoons of honey. <laughs> what, what was I thinking? <laughs> uh. <sighs> Good one, Kelsey. Why does honey taste so good? So now that we have all these in, we're going to whisk this together. Oh, almost forgot. Eggs. You need two eggs. Okay, so we're gonna whisk it together. See how well. Ooh, that was a lot of splatter. All right. Just trying to break up the peanut butter because I didn't kind of let it come to room temperature and it's a little sloppy and then I'm also just kind of mushing up the bananas a little bit all right so now we're going to do one cup of all-purpose flour Spoons I really need one of those Dutch whisks. I don't know. Kind of seem to like annihilate all of mine. All right, nice and mixed in. Don't have any. We don't have any flour just sitting around. So, all right, we're gonna modify. We're going to use this. I want to say it's like your regular cake pan. I don't know how big it is. This is like 13 inches by 9. Oh, yeah, 9 by 13. That's like your typical. All right. Okay, 9 by 13. I have no cooking spray. And so I've just kind of been using olive oil and um, I can't do paint nights. I don't have time for that. So I substitute paint nights for painting my cooking dishes. Since we're modifying the recipe, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Because at least with baking, there is a foolproof way of figuring out when your cake is done. So that's always a good thing if you are going to be modifying the recipe. Um, yeah. This is probably going to be a bit of a thinner cake, but I'll just cut it in half, pile it on top of itself, and he'll have a nice little two-tier square cake instead of what's in the... what's on the recipe. So 
So because it's so thin, we're going to cook it. Maybe we'll start at 15 minutes. See where we get to. So we're just kind of smoothing it out. Trying to make it at least a bit even if we can. Right, so you don't have lumps that are cooked and some that aren't. All right, my pilot light died because I make yogurt too much. Anyway, so we'll put that in, in the center and we'll set a timer. We'll start at 15 minutes. And now it's time to eat our egg, drink our tea and clean up. All right, so the timer just went off, 15 minutes. Ooh. Do I have toothpicks or did the children steal them all? Ah, we have a toothpick. All right, so. Oof, I need to clean that. All right, so as you can see, it's pretty golden, like in and around here. Uh, so we're gonna do the toothpick test. Um, we'll make sure you can see the toothpick test. There you go. All right, so in case you didn't see that, it's nice and golden in around here. I'm gonna switch sides on this. I don't know if there's like a front and a back on this, but uh, there you go. It's like, you can see kind of on the edges that it looks like it's starting to get a little burnt. Um, but yeah, so you just stick your toothpick in and then let's see if we can there. So it's got a little bit, but it's not gooey. What you would see if it wasn't finished and it wasn't fully cooked is you would see like a runny goopy mess on this. So here's another one I'll do. One more on the other side. This is like kind of the highest part, but I'll come over here, see? And then see if you can, I don't know how to make this focus more, but yeah, it's uh, it's just got a little crumb at the end. This is cooked though, I can tell this is cooked. Like you're not getting runny goopiness anywhere. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave that in the pan for 10 minutes um, and then we'll transfer it to a wire cooling rack and we want it to come to room temperature completely. All right guys, this part can get pretty hard and I'm not being totally sarcastic. If you have a, <laughs> a big cake, and you just go to flip it, uh, it can crack, it can break. I mean, what I tend to do is take this wire rack, put it over top, and flip it this way. See, olive oil isn't totally 100% great, um, but it is what it is, I didn't have any. I'm not buying anymore. So we'll let this cool on here until it's completely cold. We're making the icing. So to make the icing, oh, that's where it went, up here. All right, to make the icing, we need two two cups of Greek yogurt. So you need to fill this. So hang on, let me show you. So you're gonna swipe it in there like that. Okay. You can also use the spoon. Okay, spoon. So one cup Cut. Now, hang on, I'm just gonna get all this off. We want to make sure we have the whole one cup in there. Two cup. All right. Honey, that was a big one. Mm -hmm. All right, so we have two cups of yogurt. And now. Yep, peanut butter. Don't 
lick the spoon and put it back in. Okay. Good thing only our family eats that yogurt. Time for me to put the peanut butter in. Yep, we need, hang on. We need three quarters of a cup. So, we're just gonna kinda scoop it out. What is that? Peanut butter. Peanut butter and yogurt. I'm not eating that cake. It's not for you, it's only for Bosco. Would you get all excited? You were getting cake? Yeah. Next, what do we do? Well, then we're going to mix it together. Let me do it. That's fine. I have Hang on. Mixing. You're probably going to want to use the spoon first okay. because that peanut butter is pretty hard. Wait, wash the spoon off or eat? No, no, it's fine. those muscles. This clean off, which is what I was going to do before you started attacking the bowl. <laughs> icing and put it all over the cake for Bosco and just make sure the cake is filled and then just take all of it and just throw it all over. Like favorite. Please. Da -da -da -da. All right, let's 
Etsy. These are the artistes. Artiste. Artist. I'm really a good artist. You are. Both of you are. Hang on, hang on. I want to get a final. Final. All right, so we're going to give Bosco his birthday cake outside because I don't think he's ever had this much, like, stuff that isn't dog food all at once. Um, and there is a lot of, like, sugars and stuff because of the peanut butter and um, the honey. I think that's it. But anyway, he's never really had anything like this. And there's, to me, there looks to be, like, there's a lot of cake. So in case he throws up, we're going to do it outside. So he is sniffing the air. He's like, what is that? What is that? Oh, what is that? Look at him. No, our dog. Second. Where are we? Are we going to say happy birthday? Are you going to sing it? Whoa, 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 stop, Joseph, stop. Joseph, watch out. Back up a little bit. Yep. You ready, girls? Okay, go ahead, boss, please. Yeah, he goes for the meat first. Thanks, Josh. Sorry about that. Happy birthday. Johnny, put that baseball bat down, please, and watch out. <coughs> Is he actually going to eat the cake? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Is that yummy? Happy birthday. Say it. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Bosco. Happy to you. Happy birthday to Bosco. Why He's like, I don't even know how to eat this. Yeah. What do you think? Was it a good birthday? Not interested in it anymore. So he ate that much. So as predicted by me, he did not finish his birthday cake. And I figured he probably wouldn't because it was kind of a lot. And he's never eaten anything like that before. So I didn't think he would eat the whole thing. Josh thought he did. Josh thought he would. Just saying. That was right. Um, but no, it was nice making a little cake for Bosco. Hopefully he feels a little special. He definitely saved room to eat any food that the kids tossed onto the floor during dinner. He saved room for that. So, um... I don't know, maybe he just doesn't like it, but, uh, yeah, so today basically is over, so Bosco's birthday is over, but he's two now, so, uh, maybe we'll make some homemade dog treats or something for him later on, but, yeah, just wanted to make sure he felt special on his birthday and all that fun stuff, and ironically, his birthday actually fits in well with the family's birthday dates, except for mine and Joseph's. Um, but Josh was born on the 26th of June, and then Joshua was born on the 26th of August, and Bosco was born on the 26th of April, and then Jonathan and Jordana missed it by one day, they're the 27th of April, and then I'm May 4th, but I have a Star Wars birthday, so that's okay, and then Joseph is June 15th, so his is totally random, but, um, but yeah, Bosco kind of fit in well with the 26th. The days 
I guess, of the family. So, um, but yeah, so he's just kind of, he's nibbling away. But anyways, uh, thanks for watching. And if you haven't already subscribed, I hope you guys um, choose to subscribe to the channel. We've got a lot going on. And uh, we actually also have a website up, by the way. Um, it just started, so there's not a lot on there, but it's amel.family, A-M-E-L-L, -L, period, family, F-A-M-I-L-Y. Um, so that's kind of like our little blog area where we're just going to write some stuff down. Because I know when I'm on the internet, sometimes I prefer reading things to watching videos. Um, and we have like a little blog area. We're going to do like... Um, when we do videos we'll do like a written um, version of the video but they're not going to be quite the same maybe we'll go into more detail in the writing or something i don't know um and then we're gonna have like a store eventually because josh is really creative and into like designing he already has his own like um line of shoes going on so um yeah, we're gonna put a store up there eventually. And then we have something called the Idea Center up there. Um, we'll get into more on the website another time. Um, but yeah, so um, in the description is all the ways that you can connect with us as well. And uh, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. Um, I will also link, obviously, where I got the recipe from in the description. Um, and this will be... <laughs> He's pulling me. This will be um, in the vlog section on the website. So I have like a little write-up that I want to do on Bosco's birthday and stuff like that. So anyway, thanks so much for watching and uh, I hope you guys have a great day.